When Tuskegee Institute opened its doors on Independence Day in 1881, our founder and first president, Booker T. Washington, knew that the true path to freedom was through education and knowledge. Today, Tuskegee University remains steadfast in continuing Washington's mission of bettering the world through education, research, and public service. We combine both uh, education for undergraduate and research, uh, and that is very beneficial uh, for companies. Uh, and we uh, develop some technology here which is unique. The students also carry out service. They care about community. So they help tutor the young people in the community while they carry on their own research and their own academic studies and traveling across the nation and world. So we engage with students at various levels to be sure that they understand the world in which they have to deal with. Uh, we can share with them not successes but the mistakes we made so they won't have to repeat them. We, we are sure the success is with them. It, is, uh, it gives me great joy to see those students who come to us uh, fearful, unprepared, and to leave very confident in their ability to perform and to go off and come back to see them years later being very successful in their career. We help our students improve their analytical skills, we help improve their communication skills, and many other softer skills that, as you know, is very critical in whatever profession that our students might take. Legendary scientist and inventor George Washington Carver performed much of his groundbreaking research here. George Washington Carver once said, education is the key that unlocks the golden door of freedom. We must continue to provide this education, to provide the key, to provide freedom. Tuskegee University is continuing Carver's pioneering spirit and striving for newer heights. We continue to pursue excellence in teaching, research, and service, our passion for the Tuskegee family, and our love for the veterinary profession. We are very proud to be the only college of veterinary medicine on the campus of an HBCU, and even more proud to have graduated over 70% of the nation's African-American veterinarians in the United States. Our most recent success story is that we have two architecture students that were selected to the Summer Research Institute at MIT. The students were introduced to the value of a graduate education and the importance of combining diversity curriculum content into research and practice. We are very proud of the fact that our students can compete with any graduate whether it's an HBCU or an Ivy League institution. My Tuskegee experience is, has been wonderful. Um, I've, I've met different people from different parts of the country. Um, I've, I've been a part of different organizations here on campus. And Tuskegee is like a very close-knit family, so my Tuskegee experience is different from, from other schools' experiences. So I love the, the close, nurturing feeling that Tuskegee gives and offers. Well, I love, I, everybody's so nice, like, what they say about the people is actually true, like you can really talk to anybody. Tuskegee is very family oriented and it's always open door policy, so if you ever need anything, there's always a helping hand around. Some of our illustrious alumni include Lionel Richie, international recording superstar, Tom Joyner, nationally syndicated radio host and founder of the Tom Joyner Foundation, Alice Coachman, first African American female Olympic gold medalist, Dr. Bill Winston, world-renowned minister, philanthropist, and businessman, Lillian Harvey, who helped establish the first baccalaureate degree program in nursing in Alabama, Judge Robert Benham, the first African-American to serve on the Supreme Court of Georgia, Herman J. Russell, founder of the largest minority-owned construction company in the nation, Lonnie Johnson, inventor of the Super Soaker water gun. T.U. I love that. We could do that all day. I must say that I'm so excited to be your commencement speaker here for the Tuskegee University graduating class of 2016. <laughs> to you. you know. I, I just had, I had to do that too. I had to do that too. <laughs> be a part of our timeless legacy and our unwavering trajectory of success.